there you are. The gentleman came around. He sorted the lawn out. Yes. He trimmed your bush while he was there. <laughs> yeah. And it's also right to say he couldn't do anything about the staining on the grass, correct? No. Correct. But the damage was pretty bad. Now, just to be clear, because I was concerned about the nature and the extent of the damage, I asked the court to go around and have a look at the extent of the damage in the garden, and there was a company called Greensleeves who are expert in this, and they say the total damage to the garden, to put it back so that you've got a proper, full, unpatchy lawn would be £150. Yes, correct. That's right. Now, your dog did the damage, why don't you owe the money? It's a hard one. Because you'd like to one. pay if you could. If I and you feel it. bad about it. Yeah, but... I mean, when we realised it was getting bad, I did try and stop her, but where she was doing the zoomies, and then I tried to intervene, she took it as a game, so it actually just made it worse, cos we were laughing about it at first, and then she's gone from laughing, and then I'm like, no, stop, and she couldn't understand. Understood. Uh, now, let's have a look what they say. Here's the thing, a spring feed will need to be applied later time. The work cannot be undertaken until the temperature starts to rise next year. Ten weeks later, we will apply another feed and a weed killer, which I am confident the grass will be looking good. Well, I get the idea. In any yes. event, it's £150. The reason it's interesting is what's your liability? It was your property. As a matter of law, your dog, your thing, you, in other words, yeah. did damage to her property. And so, in the ordinary course of things, you'd be straightforward financially liable. The difficulty is, madam, that this was caused by a pet. And in law, there's what's called statute, which governs whose responsibility that is in the event that a pet does damage. It's a very difficult one. Now, this is the liability done by, dang it says by dangerous animals. Your dog is not a dangerous animal. <laughs> Now, where damage is caused by an animal which does not belong to a dangerous species, that's us, yep. that's Daisy, mm -hmm. a keeper of the animal is liable for the damage, except as otherwise provided by the Act, if the damage is of a kind which the animal, unless restrained, was likely to cause, or which, if caused by the animal, was likely to be severe. Well, you're OK on that one, madam. We can go to see. Those characteristics were known to that keeper, or at any time known to a person who at that time had charge of the animal as that keeper's servant, or where that keeper is the head of a household, were known to another keeper of the animal who is a member of that household and under the age of 16. Can you believe people need lawyers when it's written so clearly? <laughs> You're OK on that one too. In other words, she knew yeah. that this dog might do this sort of thing. Yes. Here's your problem. The problem's in the middle at B. The likelihood of the damage, or of its being severe, was due to characteristics of the animal, which, here's the hard part, Louise, are not normally found in animals of the same species, or are not normally found except at particular times or in particular circumstances. Now, what that means is this. The reality is you had had this dog in your garden. It was perfectly foreseeable that this dog had zoomies because that's what French bulldogs do. You knew about it, you'd yes. seen them in the past. And it wasn't out of kilter. In other words, it wasn't unforeseeable that this dog might do this precise thing prior to you allowing the dog in your garden, correct? Correct. And that's the problem in this case. But before I give a ruling about it, I think it's only fair to meet the real culprit here. <laughs> Can we go and get Daisy? Did the seeds just not work when you put no, them down? No, it didn't work, no. Mm. And she's never, ever made a hole before. Well, I think what happened, she's probably running around on mm. the grass, just disappeared. <gasps> Here she is. She's Can fast. I meet her? This way. Daisy. This way. Can I meet Daisy? Daisy. Oh, she's so friendly with everyone. Yes, Daisy. all right. She's sociable. Daisy. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hey. I don't know, I don't know. It's OK. <laughs> it's OK. She's making French bulldogs up. Robin, would I be allowed to meet her? Yeah, Thank you. Are. Come on, then. Thank you. This way. Go. Hey, we did it. Come on, go, go, go. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> no. And, and is she allowed to... Can I pick her up? Yeah, of course Thank you can. Thank you very much. Daisy. Robin, um, I'm afraid to say she's made a rather 
a damaging comment about her case. She's just farted on my lap. It's <laughs> easy. <laughs> Yes, that was definitely an oopsie daisy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now. That's an order. <laughs>